Welcome to the future of finance where the decisions you make today can change your life tomorrow. Today, we're discussing the colossal money mistakes to avoid in 2024. In this fast-paced world, financial literacy is not just a nice-to-have, it's a must-have. It's the compass that directs your financial journey, guiding you through the complexities and pitfalls of money management. But even the most financially savvy among us can make mistakes, and some of these can be colossal. As we embark on this journey into the financial landscape of 2024, we'll be exploring four major money mistakes that have the potential to derail your financial stability. These are pitfalls that anyone, regardless of their financial acumen, could fall into if not careful. First on our list is the allure of quick riches. It's a tantalizing prospect, isn't it? The idea that with just one smart investment, you could turn a modest sum into a fortune overnight. But as we'll discuss, this mindset can often lead to rash decisions and devastating losses. Next, we'll explore the mistake of neglecting savings. In an era of instant gratification, the concept of saving for the future often takes a backseat. But ignoring this essential aspect of financial planning can have serious long-term consequences. Our third colossal mistake is the over-reliance on credit. With easy access to loans and credit cards, it's tempting to spend money you don't have, but this can quickly spiral into unmanageable debt if not kept in check. Lastly, we'll discuss the peril of ignoring financial education. In the age of information, ignorance is no longer bliss. Neglecting to educate yourself about financial matters can leave you vulnerable to scams, bad investments, and poor financial decisions. Each of these mistakes can be a roadblock on your path to financial freedom. But by recognizing and avoiding them, you can navigate the financial landscape of 2024 with confidence and security. Now strap in, as we delve into these colossal money mistakes that could impact your financial future. The first colossal mistake is the irresistible allure of quick riches. Now who doesn't dream of becoming an overnight millionaire, right? But here's the harsh truth, folks. The idea of quick riches is often a mirage, a tempting illusion that can lead to financial disaster. Imagine this. You're walking in a desert and you see a sparkling oasis in the distance. You rush towards it only to find it was nothing but a trick of the light. That's what quick riches are like. They promise a lush, abundant future but most often they leave you high and dry. Let's delve into the dangers of high-risk investments and get-rich-quick schemes. They might seem attractive with their promise of high returns, but they are just as likely to result in substantial losses. It's like playing roulette. You might hit the jackpot, but chances are you'll walk away with empty pockets. Take the infamous pump-and-dump schemes for instance. They artificially inflate the price of a stock, only to sell off when the prices peak, leaving the late investors to bear the brunt of the crash. Or consider those flashy forex trading platforms promising sky-high returns. These are often marred by complex fee structures and hidden costs that eat into your hard-earned money. Now, contrast these with steady long-term investments. They might not make you a millionaire overnight, but they offer a far more reliable and sustainable path to wealth accumulation. It's like the story of the tortoise and the hare. Slow and steady as they say, wins the race. Investing is not about making a quick buck, it's about patience, research, and understanding the market. It's about making informed decisions and taking calculated risks. It's about building wealth over time, not overnight. So the next time you're tempted by the allure of quick riches, take a step back. Ask yourself, is this a smart investment or is it a gamble? Is this a sustainable path to financial security or is it a shortcut to financial ruin? Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. The second colossal mistake, neglecting your savings. Yes, you heard it right. In the hustle and bustle of earning, we often overlook this vital aspect of financial management. Savings in essence are the cornerstone of financial stability. It's like your safety net that cushions you against unexpected expenses and financial uncertainties. It's that golden parachute that lets you land softly when life throws you out of the plane. Picture this for a moment, you're cruising down the highway of life, everything is running smoothly, and then suddenly, boom, your car breaks down. It's an unexpected expense, a curveball that life threw your way. Now, if you've got a stash of savings, you're prepared. You can get your car fixed without batting an eyelid. But, if you've been neglecting your savings, this situation can turn into a financial nightmare. This is where an emergency fund comes into play. It's not just a fancy term, it's your financial first aid kit. An emergency fund is essentially money that you've set aside to cover large, unexpected expenses. Think of it as your personal insurance policy against life's inevitable hiccups. 
But here's the kicker, savings don't just offer a safety net. They also open doors to future opportunities. Want to start a business? Your savings can be your seed capital. Dreaming of a vacation? Your savings can turn that dream into reality. Eyeing a new home? Your savings can be your down payment. So, how much should you save? Well, a good rule of thumb is to aim for at least six months worth of living expenses. It might seem like a daunting task, but remember, every drop counts. Start small, but start today. Make savings a habit, not an afterthought. In the grand scheme of things, savings are not just about stashing money away. They're about giving yourself the freedom to make choices, the ability to weather financial storms, and the peace of mind to live life on your terms. And remember, a penny saved today can be a dollar earned tomorrow. So, don't neglect your savings. It's not a choice, it's a necessity. The third colossal mistake is over-reliance on credit. Now, in a world where buy now, pay later, is as easy as a tap on your screen. It's easy to fall into the seductive trap of credit. But here's the thing, credit isn't free money, it's borrowed money. And borrowed money always comes with a price known as interest. Let's imagine a scenario. You're at your favorite store and there's a sale. You don't have the cash right now, but you have your trusty credit card. So, you swipe and go home with your goodies. But when the bill comes, you realize you can't pay it all off at once. So, you pay the minimum, and promise yourself you'll pay off the rest next month. But then, something comes up next month, and the next, and the next. Before you know it, you're in a cycle of paying just the minimum, while interest compounds on the outstanding balance. This is the snowball effect of compound interest. And it's not a snowball fight you want to be in. The problem with excessive borrowing is that it can lead to a mountain of debt that keeps growing, making it harder to climb out. It's like trying to swim upstream against a strong current. You're putting in a lot of effort but not making much progress. And the longer you stay in debt, the more expensive it becomes, and the harder it is to achieve your financial goals. Over-reliance on credit can also impact your credit score, which can affect your ability to borrow in the future. It's like a domino effect. One bad financial decision can lead to another and another until your financial health is in jeopardy. So, what's the solution? It's simple. Treat credit like a tool, not a crutch. Use it wisely. Be conscious of how much you're borrowing and always aim to pay off your balance in full each month. If you can't afford to pay for something in cash, think twice before swiping that credit card. Remember, credit is a tool, not a crutch. Use it wisely. The fourth and final colossal mistake is ignoring financial education. Now let's talk about a mistake that can potentially cost you big time, yet it's often overlooked. This mistake is like going on a road trip without a map and it's called ignoring financial education. Financial education is not about becoming a Wall Street whiz overnight. It's about understanding the basics of money management, the principles of investing, and the dynamics of the financial markets. It's about knowing how to read a financial statement, understanding the difference between stocks and bonds, or knowing what a mutual fund is. Why is this so important, you ask? Well, imagine you're in a boxing ring, blindfolded. You don't know where the punches are coming from, and you're just swinging in the dark. That's exactly what happens when you're navigating the financial world without proper education. You see, without financial education, you're more likely to make poor investment decisions, fall for financial scams, or mismanage your money. You might find yourself in a cycle of debt, living paycheck to paycheck, or worse, facing bankruptcy. Moreover, Financial education is not just about avoiding pitfalls, it's also about recognizing opportunities. It's about knowing when to invest, where to invest, and how to maximize your returns. It's about understanding market trends and making informed decisions. In today's digital age, financial education is more accessible than ever. There are countless resources online from blogs and podcasts to webinars and online courses, and the best part? Many of them are free. So make it a habit to learn something new about finance every day. Stay curious, stay informed, because the more you know, the better decisions you'll make, and the more money you'll save and earn in the long run. To sum up, ignoring financial education is like sailing a ship without a compass. It's risky, it's dangerous, and it's a colossal mistake. So equip yourself with knowledge, empower yourself with understanding. Because in the financial world, ignorance is not bliss, it's costly. Knowledge is power, and in the world of finance, it's your greatest asset. We've taken a journey through the colossal money mistakes to avoid in 2024. We've seen the seductive allure of quick riches and the dire consequences of falling for it. We've explored how neglecting savings can leave us vulnerable in times of financial distress. 
we've delved into the pitfalls of over-reliance on credit and how it can lead to a vicious cycle of debt. And we've highlighted the importance of financial education and the risks of ignoring it. These mistakes may seem obvious when pointed out but they're surprisingly easy to make. That's why it's so crucial to stay vigilant, to keep learning and to maintain a disciplined approach to our finances. We encourage you to share your thoughts, experiences or questions in the comments. Remember, your financial future is in your hands. Make wise decisions, avoid these colossal mistakes, and you'll be well on your way to financial success in 2024 and beyond.